people. Hello, you awesome people. It's Wednesday's live stream training where I'm going to talk over the the poll behind me here and we're going to deliver some value specifically in alignment with what's going on and what you topics you want to talk about and what's going on for you because at the end of the day I'm here for you. I'm not here for me, I'm not here for anyone, I'm here for you, I'm here to help you. And that's why I will keep stressing at the start of these live streams is let's see some more contribution to them because if I get more contribution then I'll be able to specifically answer what's going on for you specifically and then maybe give you some insight and maybe give you a, a second view on what maybe you're going through or whatever it is you want spoken about because at the end of the day the intention behind this is to this group to be a resource for you and this is why I'm in there asking questions daily and in there trying to get as much feedback as possible so I can get out there and give you and deliver the value that you want because at the end of the day I want to find out where the challenges are I want to find out what you're struggling with so I can get the, the right content for you okay like I'm I'm like consistently going out there and looking at third party content and creating that together and bringing it for you to you guys so you don't have to go searching for it okay so let's dive in um just having a quick glance behind me what one do I want to um start on let's start on the how to set boundaries to avoid becoming a yes man to, to every client I completely relate to that I seriously do like I used to be that person who would just say yes 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 now I'm going to cover both of these together how to structure your week for freedom because this is just linked in together right now what I'd ask you is do you have a default diary do you have certain days where you're like, this is where I'm working with clients, this is where I'm working with clients, this is where I'm working with clients, right? Or is it just scattered all over the place? Do you have structure? Do you know when you're working with clients? Do you know when you're working on your business? And then I would I always split that into two actual pits. And then one is project work. So the actual project work that's moving your business forward, it's like the big, the, the big projects that you're working on. But then we've also got daily must-do tasks daily strategic actions, important tasks, whatever you want to call them, that are actually that are actually moving you forward 1% every single day, that are actually getting you a result, that are actually booking calls on your calendar, that are actually getting you new clients, etc, etc. Those important tasks, the sales tasks, the sales and the messaging tasks, I call them. You've got to have the real structure. You've got to understand when the family time is. You've got to understand where the gym time is, the personal time the time that you're going to see your friends. You have to have a structure. Because when you have a structure and you say, um, this is the times that I'm available, well, that's a powerful position to be in. Because at the end of the day, like, you're the prize. I want you to feel into this. You're the prize. They're coming to you for a reason. You're the prize. Now, I'm all for helping people. I love like love getting on calls with people that are outside the times. But I don't do it to the stage where I'm fucking working millions and millions of hours. I do it every now and then. But I feel it's right. Okay? But have structure. Have those days where you're doing that. There is going to be times where you go out and you, 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 you bend the rules a little bit because you're maybe a client has been loyal or whatever that's cool right you do that okay i'm all about serving people but you've got to have the structure and you've got to li literally say like sorry but my my diary's actually full at that time and this is what it's full with these are the times i'm available so can we work together to figure out what we can work out here yeah yeah of course then they'll go and figure it out you can sit down with each other and say right cool what can we do and then discuss it with them don't just say yes, just literally say, look, you should know your default diary in your head, right? You should know your default diary in your head, and when you know that, you go, no, sorry, I'm not available at that time because I am doing X. I'm working on my business, I'm seeing X person, I'm doing X, I'm doing Y, I'm doing Z, right? You do that. You know that. You then say, let's work this out. Let's see what we can do. Let's sit down. And let's look at your diary, let's look at my diary, and let's work it out so we can figure out a way to make this work so you can come into this spot. 
Let's do it. I'll sit down with you and do it with you. Or you get on the phone with them or whatever. Don't just automatically say yes. Literally, no. I'm working on this then. I'm working on this then. I'm seeing my mum then. I'm, I'm fucking seeing my brother then. I'm going out then. I'm doing this then. Sorry, I can't do that time because I know that this is happening and this is how my default diary is structured in the week. Let's sit down and do that. It's pretty simple as that. Okay? And you've got to realise that you're the prize, right? You're the prize. And, yeah, like, they're coming to you. So they should accommodate you. Simple as that. And like I said, there, there'll be times. Like, there's times where you will, like... Like, because I've got a couple of clients right now in America, and they can't make it on the group call, and, like, I'll, I'll happily get on a call with them for 10 minutes outside outside the time every week, but when I get back to the UK, I'm moving the time so they can get on that, so that doesn't have to happen. Simple as that, so I'm accommodating the guys from America. There's going to be times where you do that, you've got to follow your heart, like, serve people, but 9 times out of 10, there has to be that, that barrier where you go... And then you come up with a solution for it. And you say, no, these are the times I'm available. That's it. Okay. This is pretty much linked to structuring your week for freedom. Because in my eyes, like, obviously, freedom, it depends what freedom means to you for a start. So first and foremost, define what freedom means to you. Because, to be honest, I used to think that freedom was... Can just travelling and, and fucking... Be next to the beach and live in that freedom lifestyle, the perception of a freedom lifestyle. When really, that doesn't really, doesn't really, like now that I've done it, like it doesn't really, it doesn't really make you tick, to be honest. It's good to experience it. Um, but freedom to me is just to do what I want, when I want, with who I want. So literally, I love what I do. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. So, like, if I'm not doing this on a daily basis, then I'm lost. I, I, I don't like not working on my business. Yes, I have the, the, the Sunday to take off, and sometimes, to be honest, I actually get sucked in and work on a Sunday. Um, but I try and keep it off as much as possible, and I try... Oh, Sunday's just got up behind me. So, yeah, like, I actually, like, freedom to me actually means doing what I want, when I want, with who I want. And that is literally, you've got to structure your calendar in a way that makes you happy. So when I get up in the morning, I don't want to laze about. Like some people love that. Some people love getting up in the morning and just lazing about and being like, cool, this is awesome. I just got free time. Let's just chill. Let's go and take the dog out or whatever. I don't like that person. I like getting up and getting stuff done. Because when I get stuff done, two and a half hours of work, so I'm like meditating, journaling, doing all that stuff, getting in a fucking real excitement for the day and then boom into the day I go for two and a half hours before I go to the gym just like I feel so fulfilled and it makes me feel amazing and I'm just like ah I feel free but if I don't and I've tested it and if I don't do that I feel a little bit out of alignment so here's the thing you're not going to get your structure perfect to start with you've got to it's got to be like a, a process over time that you're testing and tweaking testing and tweaking and testing and tweaking because you're going to change as the year goes on and you're going to you're going to change your structure but as of right now sit down ask yourself what makes you happy because if you're not doing what makes you happy you're doing something wrong right what makes you happy then obviously you've got to understand that you're going somewhere you're you've got goals i've got loads of things popping up don't distract me you've got goals right then you've got to understand that you've got a business to run right so you look you look at your life, you plug you in first. Where's your gym time? Where's your free time? And that free time could be spending it with the family, be on a walk on your own, it could be with your girlfriend, it could be going on holiday, it could be whatever. Like put you in first. Mark where you are and put you in first. Your free time, your family time. Put the important stuff in first because that is the important stuff, right? It is. It took me a long time to realise that, but that is the important stuff. And sometimes I still have to remind myself, Scott, take some time out. Take some time out. Go and do this, go and do that, go and do this. But put that in first. Trust me, I've been that person. It doesn't, it's not good. Put your free time in first and structure it around where you want your free time. 
So for me, I like to get everything done, and then just, <sighs> I'm done. I just like being that person that's just getting stuff done, and then I'm done, right? So plug you in first in your diary. So look at, literally, get a, a sheet of magic, there, that stuff there behind me. That's magic whiteboard. It just sticks right to the wall. Grab that. Draw your week out on it. So draw like a rectangle. Put like Monday, Tuesday. Put like 6 in the morning or 4 in the morning till like 10 at night or whatever. And then structure it and say like in the morning I'm going to get up. I'm going to do some my morning work. And then I'm going to go to the gym. But you got to structure your day. And then you've got to understand where we've got clients. Then how do where do I want to take clients? That's like, but where do I want to take clients? Where do I want to have free time? Where do I want to do this? Where do I want to do that? And map it out. Then literally look at your current diary and then look at it and go, fuck, that's far out. Then every single week for the next four weeks, do something every day to move it towards that structure that you truly want. Every single day. And it's good to actually track your days and figure out where you're wasting time, what you're doing, and understanding. Because when you track and measure, you can then you can actually then measure it, see the data, and go, that's what has to change. But freedom to you might be different from me, so I can't tell you exactly how to structure your diary. You've got to understand that for yourself. But what I would say is, what makes you happy? It's not a hard question. What makes you happy? Where do you want to train your clients or coach your clients? Where do you want to have free time? Do you want to take all weekend off? Do you want to just have a Sunday off? Do you want to have a Friday to Sunday off? Do you want to have a, just a Sunday? Do you want to work Saturdays in the morning? When do you want to do calls? When do you want to see your family? When do you want to spend time with your kids if you have them? What part of the day do you want to work on your business and your important tasks that should only take you about 30 to 90 minutes? And on the project work that's actually moving your, your big projects, that's moving your business forward in the background. When do you want to do them? How much time can you invest into them? How many hours do you want to work a week? What kind of lifestyle do you want to live? Because those questions are going to lead to the answers of structuring your week for freedom. Because if I just told you to do it, what I was doing, it's probably not freedom to you. This is a big lesson. I'm sure it was Adam that said this. Stop buying in other people's definitions of stuff. The success of freedom. Make your own. I'm going to inspire you to make your own decision on what that is. Because you can choose it. You don't have to look up to someone and say, how do I do this? You can choose it. When do you want to train your clients? When do you want to do the tasks in your business? When do you want to have free time? Plug it in and create the masterpiece that you want it to be. Then literally use that whiteboard, put another one next to it and draw what it is right now and then stand back and look at it and go, holy shit, that is out. Okay. Where's the ne where's the next step? What can I do? What can, what's the first step? Then take figure out. Oh, right. Let's just deal with the clients first. I'm going to structure my clients in on these times. It's the first step. I remember doing this, and I, I when I was a personal trainer, and I dropped my days to four days. I was absolutely no, the first day, and then I dropped it to three days. I was shitting myself. So much resistance, I had all these stories in my head saying, oh, what if all these clients and what if all these income, I'm going to be screwed and I'm this and I'm that. And then when I'd done it, people were just like, oh cool, well I can just move to here and I can just move to there and I can just do this. And I, and I was just like, this is perfect, why was I resisting that? So, structure it the way you want to structure it and the, what your definition of freedom is. Put it up on the whiteboard, put that up on the whiteboard, your current one, and then start working towards it 1% every day. Within this time, in four weeks, if you do that today and you actually take action on it, you will be at that dream calendar if you do not buy into your BS in your head. Okay. Covered. And then that comes, it links back to the first question there. You just, obviously, there might be a time, like I said, like the example of I've got two clients in the States right now, I'm not going to not speak to them. 
So I'm like, literally, I'm on the go. I'm in a cafe eating food or whatever. I'm like, bum, 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 bum. I'm out. I'm fucking about. I'll speak to them. Okay? Ten minutes, all it takes. Sometimes half an hour when I go on one. Because <laughs> I love it. But be structured. Have the time. Like, Wednesday's my client coaching day. I've got another call at, in an hour and a half after this. But literally, structure it and realize that you get to choose it. And then say no more. And if you genuinely don't have time to do it or you don't want to do it, don't just go out your way. But if there is space there and you're free and you can do it, of course, if it's not going to get in the way of anything. But if it's getting in the way of something, just say, no, look, I can't. Sorry, these are the times that the calls are. These are the times that I'm, I'm available. Like, let's work together. Let's work together. Let's keep on this call. Like, talk to me through it. Let's work this out. What have you got going on? Let's restructure this because I'm training you. And these are the times I'm available. Done. You've got to stand your foot down and do it. Okay? Right. Last but not least, we've got quick action ideas should you find yourself procrastinating. Um, mate, you first and foremost, you just got to like, whenever you catch yourself procrastinating, sometimes you got to realise, you just got to sit there and just like, literally sit there and just actually realize you're doing it first and foremost and just go like why am i doing this why am i procrastinating right now and get your journal out and write it like it's about it's not about fucking shame did it you've got to recognize you've got to take the lessons because if you do not take the lessons guess what next week same shit's going to happen because you've still got the neural networks in your brain firing off together but when you sit there and you and you become aware and you go, why am I doing this? Get your journal out. Get a pen. And write everything that comes to you. And get all the shit out of your head. Get all the shit out of your head. Get it out. Then look at it from a different perspective and go, is that even me? Or like, what the hell's going on? Like, Because you'll realise that it's just all bullshit. Then write out, close your eyes, shift your state, be the real you, be the real you that's going where you know you're going in life and in business, and write out what makes you happy and what you actually want to be doing. And write it out, because you know, and I know who does, Nick, you know that action makes you feel good. So usually when you're procrastinating, you're in some kind of fear paralysis in your head. You're in some kind of story and reasoning going on inside that is not true. So you're buying into the stories in your head. And if you're not doing that process of recognizing and changing it, you're just going to keep doing it and keep doing it because most people have just built a muscle around procrastination. And... Sometimes, to be honest, sometimes when I've procrastinated on something, I've actually sat there and asked myself that question and just been like, <laughs> because I don't want to be doing it. And you had the realisation and be like, I'm doing something I actually don't want to be doing. There's sometimes I've been procrastinating and I've been like, oh, fuck, I'm buying into a story. So it's like, it can go either way, man. It can go either way. You can either be procrastinating because you're just like, I don't even want to be going in this direction in life or my business but usually if you are going in the right direction like if you're building something that you're passionate about then you'll ask yourself that question you'll realize that it's some bullshit story that's going on you're living in fear and you've just got to change the story in your head otherwise the procrastination will just keep happening and get up change your state go for a walk shut the laptop go for a walk when you're on the like do this shut your laptop go for a walk once you've done that, in the walk, sit there and have a conversation with yourself and when you're walking and just be like, when I get back, this is what I'm doing, plan it all out in your head, boom, boom, make sure it feels good, make sure you're just excited for it, go out for a quick five, ten minute walk around the block or whatever, boom, come back in, like sit down, have a coffee, do what you want, drink some water, have a cup of tea, green tea, whatever it is you drink, boom, in you go and Break that pattern and do it. And sit down for the 60 minutes. Sit down for the 90 minutes and do it. Because you've got to train your brain to feel good 
when you even don't want to feel good. And then when you don't want to feel good, when you feel, you've got to keep training yourself to make yourself feel good because it's the emotions that drive the actions. So you've got to change the way you think, change the thought, change the feeling, change the action. Simple as that. Easy, simple as that. Okay, I feel that that is enough. Um... Yeah, I've pretty much covered everything. If you've just joined, make sure you go back and watch. It was like how to set boundaries to avoid becoming a yes man to every client, how to structure your week for freedom, which is really cool. Um, and um, quick action ideas should you find yourself procrastinating. Three things that came up this week. Like I said, guys, make sure we're contributing every single week. Make sure we're being specific to the, whatever is going on in your life and in your business right now because that way we get on here, we can deliver it, and you can have a new perception, a new perspective, and go, ah, I didn't think of it that way, I didn't see it that way, or I'm stuck in my story, or this, or that, or fuck, I learned a new strategy to grow my business, or whatever it is that you are going through in that week. Okay, guys? So, just before we go, I am running a, a beta program, which is all about you um, implementing a free lead generation system into your business so you're basically generating leads for free it's a bulletproof system it's a system I use to can build an audience over 4,500 people um, and to generate six figures it's really powerful it's been dialed in since then and it's fully systemized it's absolutely idiot proof and bulletproof and it's properly properly systemized if you're interested in implementing that in your in your business, like you could be the kind of person that is struggling with getting leads, or you could be the type of person that's maybe like relying on word of mouth, and you've been relying on a little bit of luck, and you actually want to start systemizing and learning systems, or you might be the kind of person that's actually got some kind of lead generation working, but you actually want to plug something in and amplify things up. It can work for anyone, and you don't have to spend any money on ads. There is certain hacks that come at the end of the process in step seven um, where we can actually hack into the amazing process and really like start retargeting people with ads because we've built a warm audience of thousands of people that we can then retarget it back into funnels that we build. But the core concept of the system is powerful as hell. It will literally take you six to ten hours to set up if you're going slow <laughs> and in 30 to 90 minutes a day to maintain five days a week okay numbers wise like you'll expect like 10 to 30 percent to become hot leads okay and like that's a lot you put 100 people through that you've got 10 to 15 people a month coming on the calls if you close at 20 percent which is a really low number probably close more than that but if you close at 20 percent let's just say for argument's sake you've got two to three clients extra a month let's do it and again there's a guarantee with it and there's bonuses so if you want to find out what the guarantee is and if you want to find out what the bonus is and a huge fucking bonus to be honest like it's worth five thousand dollars then Comment below or reach out to me personally on my Facebook and we'll set up a quick minute, 10 minute call and we will just literally get on that call to connect and find out if it's right for both of us and to find out if you're ready for implementing something like that into your business. If you are, we can talk further. If not, awesome. I'll make sure I get to the bottom of your top three problems and I will make sure you've got direction on where you're going next. And if I know someone that can help you in the position you're in, I will point you in the direction of that person because I'm here to help you no matter what, and I will always be here to help you. So that's this week's offer. If anyone wants to take me up on that, comment below, reach out, and you can become a part of the better program, which is seriously, like, bite my fucking hand off. I'm not joking you. Bite it while it's here, because it's going to go up by at least double when it's not better. Okay, guys? been a fucking pleasure serving you. Have an absolute amazing day and I will speak to you all again soon. Have a good one.